you know, the Greg Hardy signing obviously has uh, evoked a lot of emotion from a lot of people, and uh, I don't know the details of, of what happened. Uh, I've got daughters. I understand what domestic violence is, and uh, there's no place for it. Uh, he's here because he's a pass rusher, um, no matter what else is said about it. But uh, I'm hopeful that whatever did happen, that he's learned from it, and maybe he can be an advocate to create some change. With the Cowboys, it, it, with ends justify the means, I mean, we're... Uh, you know, bringing in a guy like that, or I mean, do you think they really do believe that you know there's some aspect of redemption? I mean, they made moves for, to give guys second chances before. I mean, do you think that? Yeah, the Cowboys there? have done that a lot, and uh, you know they've done it also with the backdrop that those players were good players. You know, and no, I mean, let's be honest, no one's going to kid themselves with someone who's not a good player in the same situations. But uh, I, I don't know. I think it's a real slippery slope uh, when you start. You know, getting involved as to whether or not you deny someone the opportunity to make a living, and uh, you know, we all make mistakes. Uh, you know, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be able to go out there and, and do what you do and, and earn a living. Uh, but I understand the reaction to it. Uh, it's a, it's, it's like I said, there's no place for it. Um, but the, you know, someone asked me a moment ago. I, I do think that the way that people have reacted to the signing. Uh, I don't know if four or five years ago the reaction would have been as strong. So I think from that standpoint, uh, improvements have, made, have been made and there's been strides uh, positively in bringing awareness to this uh, that hopefully can change what's going on. Yeah, yeah, it, it's hard. Um, you know, I, I, when it happened, you knew that you knew there was going to be some pushback. Um, I, I, I think we all underestimated how much there would be. And, and I think it's unique to the city of Dallas. Um, you know, we have a, a mayor who, who had a gathering two years ago uh, on this topic specifically before it became big in the NFL. Mayor Rawlings was way ahead of the game on this one. Um, and Dale Hansen was part of that that day. And, you know, you've got two people who are very vocal that are very passionate about this. So um, they were very, very disappointed in the organization's decision. Um, rightfully so. This is a it's a topic in the NFL. We talk about zero tolerance, but then you have the other side where people are talking about second chance opportunities, redemption. Greg Hardy's going to have to show the community of Dallas that, that he has changed, and I think it's going to be important for him to become active with Family Place, with you know Genesis Women's Shelter. He's got to show everybody that he now understands you know what he did, and it's completely unacceptable in today's society, and do things to be proactive on this issue. So uh, everything is up to him now. But I think he's got he's got to get out in front of this. You know, he can't he can't just come in here and be a football player. He's got to come in here, be a football player, be productive on the field. But then he also has to start uh, being somebody who people can look at and, and really say, okay, I do understand now why we talk about redemption and we talk about second chance opportunities. Because look what Greg Hardy has done on this topic in this community.